Denton Cup arena. Okay. And here they here they come here come the boys. How disappointing it is. I mean they're either way they're gonna put on a great performance, but the whole jersey saga for the beginning of the season for all clubs at the moment I just heard down at the canteen. Yeah. No jerseys have arrived as Aberdeen players take the field. Well they got their um they got their orange and uh, black stripe or black V I should say, double black V on uh, so well done to the uh, to the Aberdeen Tigers. I've seen Daniel Hugerworth led them out. This yeah, will be interesting, so uh, listeners, you'll have to bear with us because uh, we're still coming to grips with some of these new boys and uh, looking forward to it. Mainly the Denman side, mate. I'll be fine with the Aberdeen side, but the Denman side, the, yeah, the well. physique and the running style, something that shakes. We'll be able to tell you which way they're running at the moment, but currently Denman facing towards the highway. Uh, there is the wind favouring that way from the back corner there, like I said, of the training fields at Aberdeen towards the highway. Whether they opt to use that as a tactical point either side. That Elliot Whitaker, the uh, Demon front row, number 10, he's a big lad. 13, I've heard a few raps about this number 13, the lock forward too. Uh, Jordan Bull, Reggie, that'll be interesting. Number three, Toby Mallinson, I'm looking out there. Demon, uh, the Demon lads are running they're going to be running towards us. Big number 10 for uh, Aberdeen, uh, uh, Utah Baker. Yeah. He was the international player that he's they... He's a big lad. If he fell over, he'd be in scone. So Aberdeen have... They'll be kicking off, and they'll be running towards the dressing sheds for the first half of the Bengala Group 21 competition. Yep. First grade match of the season to get underway, but... It's only because the Musselbrook versus Greater Brankston was cancelled due to water at Greater Brankston. <laughs> water at Greater Brankston. Someone left the sprays on. <laughs> now apparently it did flog down yeah, there um, uh, late in the week, so or early in the week, I should say. You got young S Elliot Chat. Whitaker on this side, and oh, sorry, Jaden Kennedy. Yep. Number three is Tay. I'm just getting familiar with these. Here's a kickoff. Cameron French kicked that ball down deep. It's collected 10 metres out by James Old. He's given it to uh, the big bloke himself. Number 10 is Elliot Whitaker. Good tackle there by Fraser Evans. Right on the uh, the 20 metre line of uh, of Demon. They're rucking it out of their own uh, of their own half at the moment. They're on the 32 metre point. Ned Chapman at dummy half. Short pass there onto Daniel Smith, and Daniel Smith gets tackled about 30. Uh, 38 metres out, centre field. Ned Chapman from Dummy Half gets it on to Jordan. Uh, Jordan Bull there, the lock forward. He's just shy of halfway. Good defence so far as well. Here's the ball from Nettie Chapman on to Josh Miles. He puts a high kick down. It's uh, floating in this. Oh, place. he's it went it. backwards. It go. No. He's saying it. Yes, he did. He's pulled it. No. He's pulled it up. Who's our referee, Reggie? Uh, yep, I'm just getting to that at the moment. As and that's a, that's an early error from uh, Lane McKinnon. He's you're he's, high maintenance today. What is going on? He's coughed, it's this cold weather. <laughs> he's coughed that ball up and it's, it has uh, bounced off his hands back towards the uh, Denman uh, try line. So that's a turnover and a, uh, a scrum feed to the Denman Devils. And what are they? They're about 12 metres out, 15 metres out from the Aberdeen line, 20 metres in from touch. Scrum feed, shock and scrum feed. What's he blown a penalty or scrum penalty? What is that? Uh, been scoring a pump scrum penalty since 1982, Reg. Mr. Vanderberg is the referee in the centre. A scrum penalty for, for. Nevertheless, let's get on. Nettie Chapman takes a quick tap and he's given it on to you and Batham and Batham scores. He's over. He's over. If you blink, you missed it, Reg. Right. Nettie Chapman just give a quick tap. Batham was a short runoff, and he gave it the ball, and he went through some real lazy defence that from the Aberdeen Tigers and the Demon Devils. First try of the year to Evan, a uh, you and my uh, my apologies to you and Batham, the front rower number eight. And we've, and we've only had two minutes of football. I'm predicting that the referee has not. As the players, he hasn't got a microphone on. That's what the issue is. He's left the microphone in the dressing sheds. <laughs> He's Top probably job. for a reason. Well, I haven't seen a scrum penalty. And, and that scrum penalty, mind you, was because the Aberdeen guy had one of the front rowers or the hookers had lifted his leg in the scrum. I mean, we haven't seen a scrum penalty 
for what, three decades? Oh, 30 years? I think we always at least speak about it once a year. No one's they complaining don't. from the uh, Dem and Devils, but nevertheless, James Olds, what is he, 15 out, about uh, 10 metres to the uh, right of the uprights, and he's going to move in and try and convert this try to make it 6-0. And we've got 37 minutes to go in this first half, the opening game of the 2024 Group 21 season. He has converted no it. There you go, 6-0 to the Dem and Devils. The microphone must not be working here at uh, McKinnon Oval. Oh, no, 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 he just, sorry. Uh, yeah, the, Did you hear it? No, the young fellow's been up here uh, fiddling around trying to get things working from the Tigers. I'll give him okay. kudos, but it's an electrical issue that they don't have it going. There's a kick off from oh Frenchie. He gives it on to Elliot Whittaker and he runs yeah, straight into number 18 and that was uh, Jimmy... He stopped that, when he got to the line. That's Jim. That's not Jimmy Drayton, number 18. That's Hoogerworth, number 18. So Hoogerworth's got number 18 on, Reg. Right out. Keep that Thanks, in mind. It's not mate. number 13. Did you want to write that down? No, you shouldn't have remembered that. It's Hoog's <laughs> number 18. Demon on their own 20. Ball goes out to the uh, right-hand side onto Josh Miles. And Josh Miles dummies one way and he goes himself and he's pulled down right on the 30-metre line in his own half. 20 in from touch. Ned Chapman gets the ball out there to Jordan Bull. Bull gets it on to, I think that's that uh, front row that scored. And that was Ewan uh, Batham. And he's pulled down centre field, one shy of, uh, of the 40-metre line. Here's the kick from uh, Ethan Fowles. And the foul, it goes downtown. And uh, he's found Ooh. touch about 30 metres out 40 metres out my apologies the uh, winger there let it go that's so 20, Aberdeen that's are 20 metres oh it is too it's a red line my <laughs> apologies that's what they're aiming for a 40-20 the referee just pulling up short yeah, of that yeah. line he did too the, line, the linesman which is uh, Daniel Chapman on this side I don't and Worthy's on the uh, the other end here's uh, the Aberdeen boys with the ball now getting it out moving towards centre field tackled 30 out. Here's the big fella oh. here, Baker. Big UTI, Baker. Tackled. He's a big lad. Good tackle by Fowles, the 5'8 for uh, Demon. Ball goes out to Frenchie. Frenchie turns it under to Fraser Evans, and Evans goes straight over Fowles. Charging big Fraser. Sticking that back into his old club. Good work. Yes, good run. Here's Hoogs from dummy half, and Hoogs gives it on to uh, Joshy Halliwell. One of the Halliwell brothers in the centres. Jones at dummy half goes out to... Uh, uh, Richard Graham and Richard Graham is ta they're over halfway the Aberdeen Tigers Hoogs at dummy half gets the ball onto French he goes to kick it they're up in his face very quickly he had to go sideways to get a good clean kick he gets one in and it goes down to the uh, Denman 20 metre line and uh, James Olds picked it up but the referee has said that the Aberdeen boys are inside the 10 so it's a penalty piggyback penalty to the uh, Denman Devils 29 metres out from their own line. And number three, geez, that's a big kick. Who's that? 30 man? metres number out. Number three, <clears throat> that was uh, Toby Mallinson. 35 metres out for the tap. What a kick that is. That's a huge kick. And Daniel Smith goes over to regather it, gives it to Nettie Chapman. Here's a quick ball on to number 11, Elliot, uh, sorry, Jaden Kennedy. And JK goes over halfway. Good young player when he's fit, JK. Can't wait to see how his season progresses. Gets it on to Batham, the try scorer, and he charges up just shy of the 20 metre line, or I think he might be on it. Centre field, options left and right. Chapman out of dummy half, on to Whittaker, the big number 10, Elliot Whittaker. He's tackled about 15 metres out from the, Dem uh, the Aberdeen line. Chapman goes left, he gets it on to Jordan Bull. Oh, Short pass, he held it up to Batham, and Batham gets tackled, and he has he lost it in that tackle. Yeah, lost it forward. Yeah, only a few metres. <laughs> out from the Aberdeen line and that was a good tackle by the uh, the uh, Aberdeen boys to stop that. That was a good set of play there by the uh, Demon Devils. Just looking down here on the bench I can see John Whitby there. Um, can't see who else they've kept on the bench. I can't see young Drade after the time being. Huey, Huey Collins is down there. He's so a, nevertheless he's a scrum food. It goes out the back to uh, the, uh, from the scrum win to Aberdeen. Tackled about 15 metres out, centre field. Frenchy at dummy half, and he gets the ball out to that right hand side there. I think that is Lawson Anosa or Matty Hay from a distance, right in that corner. Oh, that is a great run. Who's that? A that? Solid oh, run. That was is high. That, that second attempt was high. Players appealed for it, but no, nothing. I think that's Fraser. 
Fraser Evans took that ball. There's Matty Hay, I believe, and he takes the ball up after that hit up. Great run by Fraser after uh, uh, he took a couple of players out there when he charged onto the ball. Here's Baker, the big front rower for the Aberdeen Tigers. He's pulled down about five and he's unloaded and that's a knock on. No, and they've fallen on by Nettie Chapman, but there's no advantage. The referee was uh, mic'd up. We'd be able to explain that to you. But the Aberdeen player, you Baker, has... Baker, he tried to unload He it. unloaded it. We had three guys hanging off him. Hit an Aberdeen player in the chest, but it was in a short distance. The yeah. bloke was in front of him and couldn't pick it up. So Demon raced through to clean it up and spilled it as well. So it's going to be a... 40 out. Demon's grumpy. He's, he's, admis- he's calling that an initial knock-on. Well, Demon well, it got... propels off your chest and there's no arm involved. Uh, well, that's discretion they love using that discretion call don't they the referees these days in the nrl some of them wouldn't be able to spell it but nevertheless here's Aberdeen, uh, Demon with the ball on the first eddie chapman goes himself from dummy half he gets through one he's pulled down 30 meters out center field from the aberdeen line james olds at dummy half short pass on to whittaker needs to get a little bit deeper there good yeah. tackle there too by drew gilbert the halfback for uh, aberdeen short pass and it goes out to ball on to uh number six i believe that is and that's uh fouls from uh denman plenty of options they're inside the 20 the uh, devils chapman at dummy half scoots out goes himself and he's well held there by richard graham nine meters center of the field yep last, last tackle, tackle. James Olds at dummy half. What are they going to do? It's going to go back out to Josh Miles. Josh Miles puts a midfield bomb up. It's going over there into the corner. He's tarred, oh. touched and knocked forward by the uh, uh, Denman boys. And I think that was Jacob Sukunavulu who came through and knocked it forward. And uh, it was a double knock on. So it's an Aberdeen ball. Play the ball. 20 in. T- 10 metres out from their own line. 6 0, 30 minutes to go here in the first half. He's one of the Jones boys. That's Matthew Jones. Taking a uh, good hit up, as all good wingers do. Hugo with a dummy half. It gets it onto the, one of the Halliwell lads now. He's got to see his number. I know it's either Ben or Joshua. Two good kids. Ball goes on to Baker. He's proving a handful, isn't he? It's a penalty. Okay. There's a piggyback penalty. The Tigers need it. Offside, he's ruling. 6-0, if you've just joined us. Denman currently in the lead. Aberdeen with a penalty, 40 metres out from their own line. They're taking the tap. Yeah, they're against the wind, the Aberdeen boys, in this first half, Reg. That's so why I said it will prove pivotal, uh, that wind in the second half. So they've yeah. opted to go into it. In Absolutely. The first. They're over halfway now. Hugo were from dummy half. It gets it on to Frenchy. Frenchy goes across field and he gives it inside to Matty Hay. Uh, Matty Hay. And Matty Hay, good. It's taken all day to get him down. He's up to the Denman 30. Comes down the right-hand side, turns it back into number 11, which is uh, Lawson and Nosa, and he's tackled right on the 20-metre line, 20 in from touch. Hoog's at dummy half. Looking for a quick play the ball. Gets a ball out there to uh, the, uh, number oh. 13, and that well, is uh, Richard Graham. He's hitting a really good tackle there. Hoog with a dummy half. It goes on to Frenchy. Little chip oh. over the top. Is Sukin a little hard to it. He's caught it, and he's just... He's He's regained it about half a metre out from his own line. Little sneaky little chip from Frenchy there. How he wheeled that back in and kept control in these conditions. That's skillful. And the rain has started to come down sideways. He's dropped it. Sukunavulu has dropped. No, is that Sukunavulu? No. Can't see that is on the ground. But anyway, um, it's going to be a drop ball. Yeah, turnover. You can't play that as a drop out. You've got to go back to the first infringement. Well, he's going to. He's going to play it as a dropout. He's the going first to... infringement was a knock-on in the field of play from the Denman player, and Aberdeen player well, totally true. It had to be a scrum. It's not ten advantage. Out. It has to be a scrum. Be ten Aberdeen, out. Aberdeen scrum yeah, right now. Absolutely. Absolutely. Centre of the field. Nevertheless, he's gone for the dropout. And now it's going to bounce on the fifth. Hell of a good dropout. It's so gone over halfway. It's gone down to the 30. Aberdeen 30. And uh, good chase from the uh, Demon boys as well, and they've hit him there really well. So rather than a scrum feed at the 10-metre yeah. line, Aberdeen now have the ball 45 metres out, 15 metres in from the grandstand side. Yep, absolutely. Here's the Halliwell boy. I think that's Joshua. Jones will go to dummy half, Matty Jones. There's a penalty all over him. Yep. Hand Number the three. Ball. Yeah, good play the ball by Josh Halliwell. He got up and fought for that uh, ruck. We'd be able to defend you, mate, if you had your microphone on, but unfortunately... This young fella here is Drew Gilbert. This is yeah. the halfback, Reggie. Yep. For uh, Aberdeen Tigers. It's coming straight at you, mate. 
<laughs> no good for me. Here's Hugleworth. Aberdeen ball. They're on the uh, they're on the uh, attack. Eleven. Very a no so that's a no sir, and they're 25 metres out from the uh, Demon line, 15 in from touch, on to Bake at the front rower, over to Fraser Evans, Fraser Evans charging some old teammates there, Nettie Chapman around the legs, good tackle over the top was uh, Batham, here's a short pass on to Baker again, he's, he's dead set proven a handful, he's carrying blokes towards the line, 5 metres out the Tigers, can they score and level it all up? Hugoworth down that left-hand side onto Frenchy. Frenchy jinx. Goes Good back boy. in. Arla John John Blue White. He scored, Frenchy. Good boy. Five moves to the left of the uprights. 6-4. 26 minutes to go here in this uh, round one clash between the Tigers and the Devils up here at McKinnon Oval. He had that on the... Uh, the defence just did not move up off the line there. Frenchy went left and he jinked back in to, his, off his, to the right-hand side towards the upright. Very similar to Luai from Penrith. And no one moved to even get in his face and tackle him. Don't talk NRL to me. I don't watch it. You know that. But what he's done was, that, as you've said, no one's come up on the inside. No, he had yeah, the ball... Just, 10 metres out from their try line, 10 metres in from the sideline. Left foot step, left foot yeah, step. Lazy defence. Speed off the mark, and, and he just caught them. Absolutely. Fantastic and play. And he'll try and uh, convert his own try here, Frenchy. So, uh, Some players thrive in these conditions yeah. when it's not stinking hot, yep. and they have their natural talent to be able to hold the ball. Baker is thriving in this weather. Loves it. And to see him at the moment, he's wanting two and three hit-ups. Well, uh, you know... Well, the interesting he's there. thing... I don't think he can go 80 metres. He's kicked at six all. So the interesting thing is he's, he's attracting three or four defenders from uh, Demon every time he gets the ball, Reggie, and he is proving a massive handful, and someone's got to hit him early before he gets that advantage line. Otherwise, he's going to run over the top here. Yeah, him and I know, so I'd be... Uh well, especially the big fella, he just seems plenty fit enough for me that I'd be keeping him out there for 80 minutes if he can. For sure. Wouldn't for need sure. a spell. Sorry to say that, John Whitby, but yeah, I'd be used all up utilising that. 25 minutes to go, 6 all here at Aberdeen. James Old with the kick off. That's deep. That's Roo going starts with the wind. going straight down to Matthew oh. Jones. He's dropped it on his own line. If you are, Poor old Jonesy. For those at home that can't, that was a Ben Hunt. Exact positioning, squat. And just dropped it right on the try line. In the have, field of play. I couldn't have explained it any better. Was in the field of play. And he's going for a dropout. No, he might have been over his own line, Reg. No, I'd, I'd say he was right on his uh, his uh, try line. Chick's given the shake of the head. Chick's got the better view than us. Here's the line dropout restart. It's going straight down to Fowles. Gives it on to Whittaker, the front row, and he gets it on his own 35 out from, sorry, the, the Aberdeen side of the field. Charges towards the 20. He's, what is he, 15 in from touch. The grandstand side. Here's uh, Jordan Bull. He goes forward and he's hit by Baker. 15 metres out. Didn't make too much ground, but a good tackle there by the Tigers. He got their heads up here. He goes to uh, Fowles. On to uh, Josh Miles. Josh Miles turns it back into James uh, Olds. And Olds. Oh, well read. Well read, all right, by number 11, Lawson and Nosa. Chappie goes from dummy half. Chappie gives it to Batham, and Batham's charging towards the line. He's got it he's down, his second try. Pointed to the spot, the referee. The defence again was very lazy because he came back in a switch under from uh, James Olds there. And Josh Miles was involved in that on the right-hand side of the field, and they came back in to Batham. And he went through again. Very, very lazy defence on the opposite side of the ruck. Got to move up both sides, lads. Yeah, five metres to the eastern side of these uprights facing the highway. Will on be the scoreboard easy, side, yeah. Be easy pickings for James Olsen. Ten, points, ten points to six here in favour of the Devils. It's not a lack of... Um, I mean, that, that purely comes off the drop ball from the kickoff, the Ben Hunt. So, yeah. if lift their heads it's not been bad defensively so just for all those people listening uh there is no live video stream it's only audio correct reg correct that's because just to let the, the people know yeah that's the deal with group 21 as we know that it's a small regional competition we can live stream it but it does not bring the people to the grounds and has the that's right uh, income generating perform, um, income generating facilities for the clubs 
and as we just spoke about the pre-game, Denman, their biggest financial um, match takings is that Friday night, and I think it's going to be the way to go. I think we'll see more Friday night games. 12 points, sorry mate, you finished. 12 points to 6, he did kick that goal, James Old. So, uh, you know, in the Newcastle competition and the likes, uh, they've got other larger sponsors that can contribute here. It's about the passion, it's about the family, and it's a family facility, so we provide the audio. Righto, well you got that across and hopefully that explains everything. Here's the kick off, the restart from French, he gives it on to Fowles and as has been the case, it goes to Big Whitaker, the front rower. No change has been made by either side and what are we, 18 minutes into this first half? They're on the 20, their own 20 at the moment. Chapman goes to dummy half and he gives it on to Daniel Smith. Good run but he's coughed it up. Oh. That was a Great hell of a hit. good tackle from Baker. And Fraser Evans. And both Fraser of them. Evans. They didn't miss him and absolutely nailed young Daniel uh, on the 30 metre line. So Aberdeen will have possession via a scrum feed 30 metres out from the Demon line centre field. Every club, though, throughout this season has the option of one live stream throughout the competition. Uh, and Mary War as well have got theirs on the good uh, June long weekend. Here's a scrum win to the Tigers. Frenchy gets the ball from Drew Gilbert at the space of the scrum. He's tackled about 25 metres out, still centre field. The, uh, oh, <laughs> that's a bone rattly. That's a sh huge hit. I miss that because I was looking out somewhere else, but nevertheless. Ball goes oh. out the back to nobody. Gilbert picks it up. He dances around, but he's hitting a good tackle there by Jaden Kennedy over the top. Still centre field, no one's there. Here's Hugerworth from dummy half. Gastic, no options but to go himself. A little bit uh, rattled here, the Aberdeen Tigers. Where's their process and their moves? Here we go, and out the left, Frenchy. Frenchy puts a little chip forward. Only got a dive on it, he does! The Aberdeen! Who was that out wide? Was that one of the Halliwells? Was that Ben Halliwell who followed that kick through from Fr Frenchy? Yeah, and the Aberdeen Tigers have hit back immediately. I think that was Ben Halliwell that scored out wide, Reggie. He shot out of the cannon. The one thing there with Frenchy is he's put the kick in. Originally, it looked like it was going to go too deep, um, and it's deflected off a Denman play to slow it down. So, yeah, one of the Halliwell boys out that side. We don't have the I screen in front ben. of us. Giving him pats on the... Number four. Might have even been Lane McKinnon. I don't... For all the money I didn't see it on, and uh, the communication was there, but the one thing I'm liking from sitting back and watching this structure is Baker, not only a ball-playing front rower, Massive is hit. screaming about where players have got to be in their position. So yeah. that was a that's, big that's full credit to the coaching staff. That was a big hit. As a winger, as a small winger, the last thing you want to run into is two front rowers. Um, <laughs> yeah. And even though it was the first, poor old Daniel Smith couldn't chip over the top from uh, 25 metres out from his own line. I bet you, bet you he wish he could. Here's Frenchy trying to convert that try. That's and not a bad looks, kick. No. It's waved away. It's 12 points to 10. We've got 19 and a half minutes to go here in the Group 21 Round 1 clash. Well, if you... I'd say this will put the wind in the, the, the sails for the Aberdeen home crowd. So far, you know, to be putting it to a Denman side that uh, everyone has been speaking about throughout the communities, uh, which is a... They've both recruited really well. When you look at last year, the Aberdeen Tigers, they just needed those few followers up front. They had the talent out wide. And with Baker and Amosa, and as I said, there's Anossa, sorry, and uh, a few more to come. Still no... Uh, straight down into that same spot. Yep. Yeah, oh, good take from uh, young Josh Halliwell onto Baker, and he goes straight through. Pushes one out of the road. It might have been Ned Chapman. He gets to his own 30, or own 20, I should say. Oh, oh and another Joshy Halliwell's... Uh, sorry, yeah, Josh Halliwell has coughed it up, taken that hit up first up, and Second he's coughed one. it up. So this will be Demon on the attack from 25 metres out. Scrum feed 20 metres in. And this is where you've spoken about that man earlier, James Old. He will he's dangerous float here. around the back here. As we see fouls going in to feed the scrum and first receiver is the captain, Coach Miles. Here we go off the base of the scrum. It yeah. goes off to fouls. Do you want to call it? No, that's your go. Uh, no, I'm cool. I I'm thought you were reading your phone. No, no, I was checking to see if everything's coming across loud and clear, which it is. But uh, Nettie Chapman got that ball. Here's uh, number 12, which is Nathan Darby. And Darby takes a settler towards the post. He's about 20 metres out, centre field. Chapman at dummy half. Referee wasn't happy with that play. The ball go back. 
reset. Here we go. Ball goes out to the right-hand side of the field onto uh, number 13, which is Jordan Bull. How no, is the that collision? was number 12, I should say. That was uh, Jaden Kennedy, number 11. Ball goes to Bull now. He goes himself, jinks off his left. Goes towards the post, about three and a half metres out from the line. Chapman at dummy half. Alexa goes himself. I don't know what the hell that move was by Nettie Chapman. That was diabolical, Reg. Yeah. What was that? I don't know. That was just a real easy, cheap turnover there. And Aberdeen are charging the ball out from their own line. Fraser Evans has taken three or four players with him. And he's nearly already at the 25 metre mark after they coughed it up, the Denman Devils. Two metres out from the middle of the post. Don't know what option that was. They'll have to learn from that. Anyway, here's the ball. They're, they're getting it out. Centre field again. That's one of the Halliwell boys. That was uh, Josh, uh, that was uh, Be Benjamin Halliwell that took that ball up. They're a metre shy of halfway, the Aberdeen boys. That was Hugerworth. Ball goes to Gilbert. Onto the man who's having a monster game at the moment. The big front row from uh, Aberdeen, Baker. Ball goes, here's the last. Uh, midfield oh, bomb, Gilbert puts up. it up. The wind's blowing it backwards. It's not going to be, it goes to Fraser. He collects it. He gets it back onto uh, Hugerworth. Great no. work, Fraser Evans. Fraser Evans. Demon are going to get the ball inside. Going going so going to pick it up. He's got to get over his own try line. He does so very well done by James. And he's tackled three metres out from his own line directly under the post. That's pure experience, that is. Any other kid would have looked straight up and tried to get back in the field of play. Absolutely. There's uh, Toby Mallinson, I think that was. Jake oh, Brown, penalty. my apologies. The centre who took that next hit up. And uh, they've created a uh, penalty, a piggyback penalty for... The uh, Denman the Devils, being that was Daniel Smith. Pen. Daniel Smith took that ball up and uh, with the trying to have a, a quick play the ball, he uh, forced a penalty, which is great. Here's the uh, Toby Mallinson. Number three, he's a big lad, that centre, but he's got a good left foot on him and he's kicked downtown and made about 30 metres. Now, uh, Denman will have the restart. Right on the halfway line, 10 metres in, Chapman with the ball. Who's number 16, Reggie? And that is <laughs> Neela Tomasi. I think Neela has grown, he's grown his hair in the off-season. I think he's teased it out to be an afro. Number, <laughs> number, <laughs> number 15, Nick Harvey. That's Nick Harvey, Reggie, who's on there. We heard a bit about him. Here's Josh Miles. They're up to the 30-metre line. Sorry, they're up to the 25-metre uh, line. Centre field, them and Devils. Someone from uh, Aberdeen's hurt there. Nevertheless, they're going to play on to Bull, on to Nick Harvey, and Nick Harvey moves forward. He's inside the 20, centre field again. Chapman at dummy half. What are they going to do? Out the back to Fowles. Fowles jinks off his left. He tries to go in, but the outside defence was up, so he had no option but to go infield. Here's the last tackle. Chapman at dummy half. Out the back to James Olds. Long pass on to Josh Miles, the captain coach. He dribbles it through. That was a nothing kick, and uh, equally... Uh, equal to the task was the Aberdeen boy. I think that was one of the Halliwell boys. And now yeah, they've compounded that error with a penalty to the Aberdeen Tigers. I think it was... Um, that was Josh Halliwell who fell on that ball out there. So uh, Was it all Matty Hay? It seems to be when he collected the ball, he had a bit of a, a limp and stayed still. I think it might be Matty Hay out there on that left-hand side okay. for Aberdeen. Okay. Well, with the restart now uh, from that penalty uh, from oh. the touch finder... <laughs> he ran flat out off the tap into the defensive yeah, line for the Demon Devils and been told to go back and do it again. And that was Fraser, <laughs> Fraser Evans from the restart. Here it is here now, and he's gone back again, and that's Fraser again. He dumped into the winger who came in for a run and went out the back to Fraser off a short uh, short hit up and well tackled there by Jaden Brown, the uh, centre for Denman. Gets up and plays it out the back again. Is that shape from dummy half, is that Josh Emery on the field now? I think it is, Reg. I've been trying to pick up his number. The lighting here is not great. Here's Baker. Hasn't he had a monstrous game? He still unloads it in traffic out the back. Not great, but they fall on it nevertheless. The Aberdeen boys, it went backwards. They lost a couple of metres there. Centre field, no, about 35 metres out from their own line. Frenchy out there onto the left-hand side. He's dangerous every time he gets it, Frenchy. Uh, penalty again. And he, again, he's forced another penalty against that the Demon boys. The fourth tackle. And what was that, Reggie? Was that a high? Oh, he's, yeah, he's, he's calling high. Something that's creep, crept up a little bit. Nothing. Can't see who he's pointing at there. I think it might have been the captain coach himself. Yeah, yeah there it was. was. There was nothing in that. The, uh, that was Nathan Darby who uh, made that tackle out there. And uh, 
Well, John Whitby's come on for his first grade Sorry. debut to get for the Tigers. Yeah, so. here we go. The big fellas on from Merry War. They're 30, uh, 40 metres out from the uh, Denman line. Well, big shoes to flip because it's Baker tough. off. Baker's off. Well, he needs to uh, go forward at every opportunity, Big Wit. The Merry War Mountain, I'm going to call him, Reg. Okay. The Merry War <laughs> Mountain. You go with it. Oh, he's, that's uh, Matty, Hay. Matty Hay. He doesn't know anywhere else but to go forward, Matty Hay. Reg. He always bumps off a few, though. Always, that's great. Always. He's, uh, what are they, 20 metres out centre field. Hugo with a dummy half. They come down this short blind onto uh, Drew Gilbert. And Gilbert gives a ball onto uh, number 18. I don't know who number 18, Reggie, because it's not J Jimmy Drayton. That's number 19. And it's not Mitchie Galvin. So we need to find those numbers at the halfway for Aberdeen boys. I don't know who number 19 is. Nevertheless, he's a dummy half. He gets a ball out to Gilbert onto Cameron French. Cameron French, everyone's on side. Going to Jacob Sukunavulo's wing. He jumps oh. up well and collects it beautifully. But he's carried over his own, uh, into the own in-goal area. But yeah, what's he was, calling? He's no, calling a penalty. He did not attack the ball. I was going to bring that up. Well, he's been he's calling it a tackle in mid-air. Yeah. I don't think that so, was the case. I don't think it was a... a it necessarily, was a, it was a collision. The, yeah, it was a collision. He was not going for the ball, though. The Aberdeen player, he, he no just chance. was a shoulder charge. Um, call it a catch or whatever you want, but he eyes, his eyes weren't for the ball. He's let a bit of a let off. That's going to land in the field of play. Oh my goodness! What a oh, kick! No. He's kicked it from his own five, five metre meter line to five the halfway out to the halfway line, and that was uh, Toby Mallinson. and that's at number three. Left foot kick right on that. Well, I haven't lost anything losing four, and have they? No. He's the uh, Demon boys again. They're going to go forward, and that is, uh, I think that's Nathan Darby. Yes, it is. Jeez, he's a big lad too. His uh, number four is Jaden Brown. Goes forward, 40 metres out from the Aberdeen line. Out the back to Josh Miles. Again on to Fowles. Fowles is looking for runners. He goes himself, bumps off one, gives it on to Josh Miles, who comes around, and uh, he gets tackled about 32 metres out, 20 in from touch. Still 12-10, 44. Yeah, James Olds from dummy half, stands in the tackle, gives it on to Josh Miles. Josh Miles gives it to Fowles. He's found a gap. He clicks away. He's only got the fullback to boot, but he's well tackled there. Ten metres out from the Aberdeen line, directly in front of the post. Ned Chapman goes from dummy half, beats one, scoots around another. He's looking to dive over Ned Chapman as he scored. Yes, he has, Reggie. He's gone over. That takes it to 16 points to 10. 10, meters, 10 minutes from the dummy half. 10, uh, 10 minutes from dummy half. 10, minutes, 10 from minutes from half time, I should yeah. say. <laughs> no, that was, you know. The, that was a really good set of six. Quick they both tripped up. Mate, Nettie Chapman coming out of that play, the ball tripped yeah. himself up. The marker uh, stumbled, and uh, he was just easy to find that gap. That was just a bad read there by the defensive line. He was too close to the try line, wet conditions. Yeah. Uh, but then you'd come back to that massive kick from five metres that, that out. That was a telling point. Huge to land it down there in the halfway line. Well, I mean, they've got the wind. But the yeah. wind is blowing across to the opposite side of the field. So that was on the uh, they were on the bowling club side of the field. Bowling green, yeah. Bowling club, I and should say. The wind is blowing to the opposite corner down the towards the golf course. So to be able to make that still go out on the bowling club side. That was um, incredible. Yeah. 16 points to 10. This will take him to 18 points to 10. We've got, by the time he kicks it, we'll have under nine minutes, just under nine minutes in this first half in Group 21. Round one clash between the Aberdeen Tigers and the Demon Devils. Reggie, the, the next set of six for Demon is so important because uh, on both occasions, uh, Aberdeen have hit back uh, not too long after uh, Demon have scored. So here's Olds trying to convert that try. Well, it's the last chance they've got. And we saw so it in reserve easily. grade. 18 points to 10. That it worked uh, in the second half. You're probably trying to put it up a bit higher, probably about the 30 metre line, let the wind get a hold of it mm. to give your time, team time to get there because you've got some decent catches in amongst that team. And I mean, Nettie Chapman with his back turned, he's not the tallest kid. He's Frenchie with the kick restart. He's gone. Goes straight down the centre of the field onto Foles, and Foles gives it to uh, Tomasi. Tomasi goes <laughs> forward, and he's already up to Split through the, the legs. 22 metre line. It's a ton of ball. <laughs> he did too. <laughs> Demon rucking it out. They look like they've got a uh, rush of blood, and that was Olds who made it nearly to the 40. Here's J.K. Kennedy, and uh, he gets up five shy of halfway. It's great to see him back on the field. His uh, Nettie Chapman goes down to the right hand side onto uh, Bull, and Bull gets mm. up over halfway. Easy ground at the moment, Reg. Yeah, they're nearly at the 40 metre line directly in the centre of the park. Goes out to Tomasi, first receiver out the back to um, 
Oh, uh, Miles, who gives it under to oh. the uh, centre, which is Jaden Brown. They're in the line. He gives it on to Ned Chapman. Old's backing up. Gives it over to the centre. And that's the big lad. I think it's number three, Toby Mallinson. And he scored right under the post. Great yeah. try. Quick play the balls. Just but how easy was the ground from the kick restart? That's what it was. It was just momentum after momentum. Not slowing down the play the ball. Um, something that we've seen in the first... 15 minutes um, stint that Aberdeen was really good at. That From that try that they let Denman score, they just didn't control the play, the no, ball. Quick play, the ball. And we're talking 15 metres every, every run. Up. So Well, it started with Tomasi off the restart, and then it started with uh, Kennedy. Uh, it was, it was what just... Why bounce off them? Dynamic. You're not doing any... Fight. Dynamic football, really. Get, get in that wrestle and... That, the, 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 telling, the telling point there was certainly Aberdeen weren't giving... Uh, weren't, uh, given room to breathe in defence. The, Ab- the Demon boys, their play, play the balls the ball was, was just sensational. You've got to slow it down. You've got to control the ruck. You've That's got to in win two the minutes ruck we've range. had two tries to Demon. You've got to uh, win the ruck. And that one wasn't warranted. Absolutely. But it was a great effort. Great effort. Well, they skipped away to a 22 to 10 lead. We got six and off half. the kick off, though. <laughs> He's been bumped by one player and tunnel ball through another bloke's legs. <laughs> six six and a half minutes to go, and Olds has made no mistake with that. That's 24 to 10 uh, in this round one clash. I keep saying it. This is a start of Group 21. Today's game between Gruder and Musselbrook uh, was called off. Uh, due to wet fields down there at Gruta Brinkston Oval. I can't hear you, mate. Okay, the Bengala Group 21. My apologies. There we go. This is the kickoff I was talking about he last time. Kick J.K. Kennedy is under it. He's let it, it bounce. He's let it bounce. And oh, oh they were watching it, Aberdeen. Nevertheless, Mallinson's picked the ball up. Great tackle there by uh, oh, no, that was Daniel Hugerworth, but he's forced a penalty. What's he saying? So he's saying it was a high tackle. Daniel's gone over his shoulder to Hugo try speed. and knock the ball down. Um, yeah, anyway. Oh, that's well, a hard, by, hard done by one, that one. Well, there's a piggyback penalty to the uh, Demon Devils. And what are they? 25 metres out. Uh, centre field. And Mallinson's going to find touch here. He kicks it oh. low and long. Low and long, He looked Richie. like he shanked that. It and he's like kicked it. And it's gone over halfway. They're going to get the ball 48 metres out. 10 in from touch. Demon with his tap restart. Going to go to Chapman. Who's going to get it? He's number 11, and that is Jaden Kennedy. He hasn't been shy. He's looking for work the whole time, Kennedy. He's up to the 40 already. 10 metres, 15 metres in from touch. Here's Nettie Chapman. He goes himself, and he's short pass on to Tomasi. Tomasi gets the ball. He's tackled about 32 metres out from the Aberdeen line. Here's uh, Jordan Ball. Short pass. Skips across field, and he gives a short pass there to, I can't see that gentleman. Nevertheless, middle of the field, Chapman goes back to the right-hand side onto Miles, onto Darby, and Darby gets the ball onto, I think that was Jaden Brown, the centre for uh, Denman. Long ball out there. Goes now, they're attacking the post, and that was Darby again. He gets tackled, 10 metres out. It's the last tackle. Chapman at dummy half. Options left and right. Ball goes to Josh uh, to Josh Miles. Goes across field. Long oh, pass over to Jaden Kennedy. Short pass on to Daniel Smith, but he's tackled. Right in the corner, 8 metres out from the Aberdeen line. 2 metres in from touch. So that's a good place to finish that set. So Aberdeen are going to have to be really on their game here because this Demon defence will be right in their face trying to force an error 10 metres out from uh, That the last Aberdeen pass line. didn't need to be passed to Smith. No, not really. He was going nowhere. I think it was, it was one of those things where he was going nowhere but into the corner. I see Josh Emery's on the field now, Reggie. Number 14, I think that's Josh. He's the first receiver there. That's him. That'll let it... He does. He adds some great speed out of dummy half and in great direction when he gets in the ball. Uh, They've got about three, three, three dummy halves to choose from the uh, Aberdeen Tigers. So they're rucking the ball out now. They're about, uh, let's say, uh, 20, eight, 20 metres out from their own line from centre field. He's on to Matthew Jones. He gets up over the 30. Good run from Jones. Hugo with a dummy half. Ball goes on to Halliwell. Number three, and that's Josh Halliwell. Tackled there. Emery at dummy half. Gets the ball. Kicks it downtown. And uh, that's not James Olds anymore, Reggie. He, did, he didn't get that ball. That's Suka Navulu, is it? Yes, it is. Suka Navulu got the ball there off James Olds. And he's tackled on his own 40. That was a kick downtown. Oh. They took all day to get over it. But anyway, the referee's making himself well aware here in this game. James Olds... Tr- 
tried to take that quick ta uh, tap. Wasn't allowed. Bring it back, son. The referee said, here's Toby Mallinson. This is interesting, Reggie. Number 17, we haven't got... Davui. Is that Davui? Yep. Very good. Write that down. I've got it down. Good. <laughs> Not on my sheet. <laughs> And he's going on for Daniel Smith. I think Daniel Smith's got a uh, shoulder injury. He's just rubbing his shoulder. He's trying Alberta. to work it, get some uh, heat into it earlier. Here's Chapman with the dummy uh, with the uh, tap restart, and he gives it on to uh, Jaden Kennedy, and he's tackled 30 metres out, 20 in from touch. He's played well, uh, JK. Here's oh. Tomasi, full of running. He's tackled just shy of the 20 metres, 20 in from touch. Chapman at dummy half. They go to that right-hand side of the field. Out the back to Fowles. On to Miles. Pass in uh, t uh, on to Derby, the second row for Denman. Oh, Stands, great. unloads in traffic. Gets it ball back there again to... Uh, that's Harvey. Nick Harvey. That's Harvey, the guy you've spoke about prior to uh, at the start of the game. He's tackled. They're trying to get him. That's a penalty. Yeah. One nope. minute 40 to go till half time. You just take the two. Yeah, Whitby was all over him like just a rash it and uh, it forced the ball clean, but the referee saw it as a strip. Went the referee's been questioned now by Daniel Hugerworth. Well, that's good tactics by Hoog exactly. to slow the play the ball down, but here's Demon. They're going to get the uh, tap restart. It goes on to Bull, 20 metres out, centre field from the Aberdeen line. A try here will not be good for the Tigers here. 24 points to 10. There'll be one minute and 20 seconds to go. Chapman from dummy half. Out the back on to Fowles. Fowles goes himself. He's about two metres out. He's got players hanging all over him. and uh, They've got numbers out here to the left. They've only they? got to swing it wide, seriously. Oh. And... S Davui will score. Quick play, the ball needed. No, what's he saying? Go he was back. held up in goal. Yep. Yeah, held up. Ten out. Chapman, dummy half. Gets a ball onto ball. Skips around. He sort of gets that little first movement from uh, like Taylor Payora from last year, Reggie. Have you noticed that? Mm -hmm. Chapman at dummy half. Short pass out there to Derby. And Derby, I think, is that Derby, Reg? Not sure myself, but no. what's he done? Last tackle. Held up. Held up. It's 24 points to 10. There's 40 seconds to go in this first half. And that's to the Denman Devils who are leading. Bit of a uh, stop-start here affair inside their own 10 metres here. Chapman's going to be a dummy half. He's got options left and right. I reckon he's going to come down this left-hand side because James Old is setting himself out the back. Long pass out there to Fowles. On to, uh, on to James Olds. Olds dancing around. Tries to beat one. He's, good. he's tackled really well there by Josh Halliwell. 10 metres out. Now's the last tackle. Mallison goes to dummy half. He's going to give it on to uh, Davui. Goes to the line. He's pulled down. A metre out from the line. Ten in from touch. It's a turnover. That should take us to about the half-time break. 15 seconds to go. Can they force a really quick turnover here with a possession? On to Whitby, and Whitby picks the ball up, and he's tackled well by Davui and uh, Tomasi. Two seconds. Siren's going to go any second now. That's it. Half-time, Reg. 24 points to 10 in this round one Bengala Group 21 competition between the Denman Devils and the Aberdeen Tigers up here at Aberdeen at the McKinnon Field. It's been a pretty good half, Reg. It has. Um, Very impressed with the way Denman are uh, uh, making yard, making easy metres in this uh, Aberdeen defence. Yeah, look, Through them. those two tries that happened really quickly. The, the second one... Aberdeen just to need to regroup group and, and, and assess those situations, yeah. getting the momentum and slowing that play the ball down. Uh, realistically, it should be, you know, 18 points to 10 potentially. That last try was just well, momentum. Uh, did you, you notice, Reggie, that everything happened once Baker went off the field for the Aberdeen Tigers? The mm. big front rower, uh, he was off the field and they lost all their momentum and that's, uh, that's a huge thing for the Tigers to lose that. So... Uh, They'll have to look at that, regroup at half-time, reset, and, and certainly uh, he's, been a, he's been a standout there for the Aberdeen Tigers, the big fella there, Reggie. I'm very impressed with the big big boy, Utah Baker. Uh, UT Baker, yeah, we'll uh, just, number 10. We'll, we'll stick with UT. UT, um, that sounds good. Yep. I think that's how you spell it too, so well done to him. That's a good pick-up from the Aberdeen UTI. Tigers, but... Uh, the the uh, Dem and Pack, they've been uh, full of running. Uh, very, very impressive, Reg. Yeah, and it's just come off the back. I, I, I just can't believe the collision that we're seeing and the, the impact from both sides at the moment with the uh, defensive. It's just been fantastic for a round one competition game. Mm. Uh, they've just skipped out to that lead, Demon. I don't think that, 
you know, there's still 40 minutes of football to go. Aberdeen will now have the breeze yeah. in their back. And that's why I said it's got, that was a very pivotal decision off the beginning of the kickoff, whoever took that breeze. Uh, but it has died down. Yeah, it's not raining now. No. It's more of a... It's a drizzle. It's not a, a yeah, slight it's, mist. It's a mist of some description, but um, <laughs> sound like we'd probably call off the sound game like if we're in the weather guy. Sound like the weather guy. Um, you <coughs> said that, not me. Brad Young and the rest of the Gruder boys will be will have your throat. Um, Brad the, Young from Singleton. Yeah, in the in the, <laughs> in the <laughs> one of your best big fans. Brad Young. My <coughs> apologies. Um, the the second half, a lot will depend on how involved Frenchy gets because his kicking yep. game is is probably v- extremely important to the way Dem- uh, Aberdeen. Can uh, get back into this, get back into this match. And again, it's controlling the ruck. It's a it's a simple game of group, like we've got a great product here in Group Twenty One Rugby League, right around our region. The quality of football and the recruitment that it's just second to none. Uh, and to see the crowds that we're building, like at the moment it is raining, but we've got kids out in the middle of the footy field kicking the ball around, having lunatics. the time of their life like we used to when we <laughs> were bloody The kids 16. are they're lunatics. I got a text message through earlier saying that you and Benko are a married couple. No, and I've been asked that. Benko, we see each other probably what? In the off season. I think <laughs> as, I've seen I think as little as possible. I think you've seen me I think we've seen each other once. Yeah, I since pulled, the grand final. No, you I, pulled in. A, I pulled in and said good day and yeah. caught up. But, uh, but we, we, we have text. We have text. Yeah. Welcome back, Reg. Yeah, it's thunderstruck. That 10 minutes went quick. 24 points to 10 here. The second half is just about to kick off. you got some names for me in the uh, Dem- yeah, in the Aberdeen side, Reggie. Josh Tickle, that is, is it? I told you it was Josh Tickle. Okay, you've got better eyesight. It is too. He's just walking past down here with Fraser. And uh, that number 11, he goes well, that Lawson Anosa. Very impressive. Yeah, definitely. Here's James, back Old. Here's James Olds with the kick restart. Straight down fr- Frenchy's throat. On to Whitby. Whitby goes forward. He goes straight oh. over the top. We may. The referee's back. Number four, Jaden Brown. But he hung on legs tackle. What a great tackle and a great run from Whitby. Welcome to first grade, the mountain. Merriwall Mountain. Here's uh, Aberdeen trying to get it out. Clean, quick play the balls. And that's... Uh, Benjamin Halliwell takes it up towards his own 40, 15 in from touch, gets it on to Matty Hay, pushes, don't argue, straight over the top of Nettie Chapman, but he comes again, they're at the halfway line. Hugerworth scoots out a dummy half, gets it, oh, what a great tackle. Number 18, Reggie, who was that? From the number 18 at the moment. It's not James Drake. 18's um, Hoogs. No, no, 19, my apologies, for oh, Aberdeen. Boy, yeah, that's young Tickle. No, that's not... That's not Tickle. You Tick, asked? He's on the sideline. Uh, boy, Tickle. I can't see where 19 is then, mate. It's a turnover. Denman with a scrum feed. 45 out. Five shy of halfway. Ball goes on to uh, Davui. Davui just shy of halfway. Come in for a run. Don't like to tell you this, but there's no 19 out there. For Aberdeen? Yeah, it's 18. No, there he is, going back. Look, yeah, that's 18. Back. That's 19, you pelican. 18 is Daniel Hugerworth. That's Tickle. You want to bet? Yep. Okay. We got it. That's on record. Anyway, nevertheless, Demon with via De Vuys, 30 metres out, centre field onto Tomasi. Tomasi, hard runner. Tomasi's full of go, isn't he? Look at him. Trying to get up. There's going to be a penalty. Taking all day to get off him. Chapman at dummy half. They're down that short side. On to Fowles. Fowles gives a short pass over there to uh, number... Too much traffic there. Yeah, I don't know. That was Kennedy who got the ball, played ball. They're out the back line. On to Josh Miles. Josh Miles put somewhat of a random kick up. Midfield. It's going to go over the sideline. On to... Uh, Jacob Sukunavulu picks the ball up, gets it on to number oh, four, no. Jaden Brown, but he puts a somewhat ordinary kick over uh, the top and it gets on to Aberdeen and there's a bit of a high tackle and players are coming in from everywhere. Matt Hay was there. I've got 12 flying in. Mate, yeah, and we've heard that. Matt Hay, Matt Hay may find himself in the bin, Rich. He come in, he does He's no gone. need to come in. There's no need for that. The referee has just said it, so... Yeah, he's gone. He'll he's go to get the bin, bin for that. Yep. I guarantee it. I've got him flying in to Move escalate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At the very worst, he's going to... Yeah, yeah. Go, he go might, he might reverse this penalty, Rich. I reckon he's... Um, he's going to reverse the penalty. Yeah. 
The referee, no they come in from everywhere, but Matt Hay was certainly instigator oh, that. He come in from about it. 10, 15 yeah, metres away. Yeah. The 12 come flying in, which makes them Matt Hay yeah. even worse. Yeah. He's going in the bin. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Yep, Matt Hay. Matt Hay is gone Captain. in the bin. 12. He's just there. 12. You come flying in, which made the melee and Eric way worse than what it should. Is that, I, I already got the high shot. The penalty's already going to use, okay? But you're going in the bin for the melee. Oh, no. Oh. It don't matter. It don't matter. That he it can't. Can't. Hoogs is talking. He can't, he can't fly he in, can't mate. grab him by the shirt and go like that, though. That's antagonising. Captain, I've yeah. explained it. Oh, that's, that's antagonising. Will, Will Hill, do you? Will explained. <laughs> yep. It's a still a penalty to the Aberdeen Tigers, 30 metres out from their own line, 7 metres in from touch. Frenchy's going to try and find the touch. It's 24 points to 10. We've had two oh, and a half minutes of kick. play here in the second half. Aberdeen on the boil. Here's Hugerworth with a quick play restart. On to Frenchy. Frenchy goes on to Baker, who's back on the field. He goes forward hard in traffic there, and he still unloads. 19. Is that tickle? Yep. You're saying it's tickle. Okay. They're tackled 20 metres out. If I'm wrong, you 30 Dave, metres out. Dave Devereaux is your six-pack. Righto. He's uh, number 13, Richard Graham. And Richard Graham, centre field. And he's called the ball forward. Off the play, the ball from Hoogerworth to Richard Graham. He's called that forward. And you know who's called that? I reckon Worthy on the sideline he's called that, Rich. Yep, Anthony, he has. Anthony Worth has stood his ground there and called it forward. So that is a, uh, a, a real relief for the Denman Devils there and a bit very disappointing uh, for the Aberdeen Tigers because they were on the boil. They were on the march. I mean, from where I'm where sitting, it's on the 30-metre line for the down at the uh, highway end. I will say that nothing in it for what I saw. I didn't look forward. Let's call it how we see it. Mm. Here's Josh Mole going to feed the scrum. It's a Demon scrum food, as you said, 30 metres out, and it's dead centre of the field. Chapman picks the ball up from the base of the scrum, gives it on to James Olds, and Olds is manhandled there right at the 40 metre line, 10 metres in from touch. Halliwell was amongst that. Ball goes to Jacob Sukunavulu, and he's tackled just shy of the halfway, 20 in from touch. Chapman at dummy half, good tackle there by number 17, which is the Merriwall Mountain. Inside on to oh. Miles again, and Miles gets up over halfway, nearly to the 40, seven metres in from touch. The rain is tumbling down. James Olds at dummy half, short pass out the back to uh, Jordan Bull, and Bull charges through the line. He's tackled about 35 out, 20 in from touch. Chapman at dummy half, out the back onto Fowles. Fowles looking for runners, gets a ball onto Mallinson, and Mallinson looks to unload it. He stands in the tackle. He does so to Fowles. Is that the last tackle? He still unloads it to Marcy. Tomasi ran into Baker, and his shoulder charged him, but he still bounced off him. But no he's, there's there. a penalty. There's a penalty against no, Baker for that. You yeah. had no intention to wrap your arms. I missed it. But. Yeah, it was a dead set. It was a dead set shoulder, and and I don't think Baker argued with that. Nevertheless, quick tap play Devui. the ball gets it onto Devu, and he gets up over the twenty. Did he lose that ball in the tackle? He's uh, dead centre of the field. I think that's options, a shoe. O- options left and right. Ball goes on to number fifteen, and that is Nick Harvey. And Harvey gets inside the ten, just to the right of the uprights. Chapman, a dummy half. He goes himself. He dummies one way. Gets it onto eleven. Oh, he's pulled up short. No, has he got the ball? Down. Down. He's short. Literally a centimetre oh, short of the try line under the post. He's hit the post. That's the problem. That was Kennedy. Ball goes out the back. Oh, there's no one there. Oh, All he had to do was, was go for it. He's dived on the ball. Does he go all over the top of it? He, he knocked it on. He's knocked it on. He could have went himself. No, there was no need for There was no opportunity for him to go himself. Fouls kicked that. But that was on. There was no one from the two Aberdeen outside defenders have rushed up and left yeah, yeah. it open. They, I think no. Faust could have went himself, but I think he had a preordained. Uh, he, he just said, "I'm kicking it regardless." I don't. He just maybe a second impatient. I don't think he could have made it, but <clears throat> that was a spill cookie. That one out there. Yeah, he dived over the top of it, the winger, and uh, that was uh, Davui, I believe. Nevertheless, Aberdeen got the ball from their own twenty, and they've had two tackles, and he's dropped the ball, and it's a penalty for a strip. Jaden Kennedy on this occasion. Is it? I'm going to ask. Is this the same Jaden Kennedy from Musselbrook? Yes, absolutely. Oh, okay. Coached him in 2017 in the uh, Musselbrook Rams under 18s title winning side. He played with Fletcher Baker. There you go. He was part of that very very good team. Here's Aberdeen with the uh, restart tap restart. 45 out from the Denman line. 10 in from touch. They take it forward. 
need a good set here. They really need a good set. The Merriwell Mountain Whitby takes the ball forward in a good run. Taking all day to get him down. One of them around his legs is Nettie Chapman. 30 metres out, 35 metres out. Ball comes out the back to Baker. He's attracted four plays. He's trying to unload it. It's raked out. Is he going to get a penalty? No, he's playing on. I thought there was a hand in there and Baker was looking to the sideline for uh, support there. But nevertheless, the referee has played on. Demon have got the ball and they took it out uh, to the left side of the field and they're tackled about 22 metres out from their own line, 15 in from touch. Oh, Down his short side. Oh, oh who was that? He should have given it. The winger was free, Davui. Nevertheless, they've still maintained possession. They're just shy of halfway. On to Miles. Miles gets a ball on to 15, Nick Harvey. And Nick Harvey's tackled right on the halfway line. Chapman at dummy half. Options left and right. Centre field. Ball comes out to this side. On to Miles. Out the back. On to Fowles. No, that's Miles. My apologies. He unloads to James Olds. And Olds skips around. He makes it up to the 40 metre line. Centre field. Slow play the ball. Chapman from dummy half, he goes himself, he goes towards Josh Emery and I think he's dropped it, good, good, uh, good tackle from Josh Emery and he forced the, he forced the mistake. Told you, told you, whenever he comes on the field, he, he's well the done. size of him, he plays outside of his weight category. Yeah, the thing is, them two boys have played with each other in 2020 in the uh, Demon under-18s team, so, and Josh, uh, Josh, as I said earlier, Josh played last year, he's right on the money, Josh, he's... He's no mug. He, he's, uh, he's had a couple of seasons in first grade and uh, he knows what's going on. Full credit to him. So it's an Aberdeen scrum feed, 30 metres out, centre field. They've withheld this pressure with 12 men. So good at the moment, Aberdeen. I mean, I'm just I'm thrilled to see this competition, mate. It's going to be thoroughly a lot. Just no one... Yeah, here we go. Oh, look at this. He's a, he's a, they're away, Aberdeen, from the scrum base. On to number two, and that's Jackie Faith. And Faith gets up to the uh, Demon 30. Demon 40, I should say, and it's a penalty. Yeah. They slowed the play of the ball down, and, right, and that was Nick there, Darby. Right uh, sorry, that was... Uh, the first contact was hard. He stayed down. Nathan Darby, who held him down, uh, Jack Faith. He put the handbrake on to come back in, but I think he's copped the bicep. Um, yeah, he just copped a, copped a knock to the head, and he's held, but it's an Aberdeen penalty, so they'll find ground further down the field. Cameron French is uh, just waiting. The, uh, and the last time that I saw Matt Hay get sin bin and come back on the field, he came alive. Mm -hmm. He made up. Well, he, he had a great first half regardless anyway. So this is, like I said, this is great product at the moment if you're trying to sell anything. This, this current... 16. That's, that's tick Tickle. Here's Josh Emery with the ball. 20 metres out from the uh, Denman line. Hoogerworth at dummy half. Taken all day to get up and play the ball. Oh, geez, that defence was up goes past himself. He shrugs off one batter, and it was. He came again, five metres out from the Denman line. That's the uh, spirit they need from uh, Hoogs. Gets it on to number eight there, and that's Fraser Evans who's back on the field. He took the run before, I should have uh, mentioned that. Hoogerworth at dummy half. Fraser's down, taking a little bit of time to get up and play the ball. Right under the upright. Goes around, gives it on oh, to Baker. He skips over, over and he's over. Under the post. That was on the line. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh. Hoogerworth went to the right. He ducked out and he turned it under to Baker. That's a set move yep. and it worked a, a very impressive. In this weather, it's just a matter of catching the ball, isn't it? If, it, if, that, if that didn't stick and some players can't yep. catch it under that pressure. But, but that's the experience yeah. of Hoogs. And the Baker. Experience, the experience of Hoogs has done it exceptionally well there. He jumped out. He jumped out and he turned it on. They were only three metres out from the line and uh, turned it back inside to UT Baker, who, uh, mate, who's stopping him from about two metres out, Reg? No. <laughs> it, look, it's going to be interesting with the collision of, you know, I've said this impact has been fantastic and watched all these first grade teams now because we know what Scone's got, mm -hmm. and especially the signing of um, and Blake Andrews from down at Singleton. Then we go down to Greater Branks, and it's going to, this competition is a lot. And Blake Andrews has gone to Scone. Yep. Yeah, I did hear that. So right across, it's going to be fantastic to see these big boppers. Um, prime competition at the moment for yep. the Bangala Grid 21 competition. Right, Ridge there, number 19. Yep. We have to get him from Aberdeen. We well, don't know who that is. I went down there. And said Dave Deva. Said to put, held my little finger out and said, the kid that's <laughs> playing number 19, he's built like that. <laughs> So, and number nine's uh, taking a shot at goal. And I have a film, that's Josh Emery. Yeah. That's Josh Emery who's converted. That is 24 points to 16. We've had uh, 
We'll put it this way, we've got 28 and a half minutes to go in this match. Matt Hay is walking on the sideline down here with the ground manager, Peter Collins. I think he coached reserve grade, Pete. I'm pretty sure he did. Yeah, well, I think the normal coaches were away. Well, uh, I'm not too sure, but he was um, walking the sideline and giving instructions. Giving some guidance. Okay, here's the uh, kick restart from James Ole. 24 points to 16. W certainly not out of it whatsoever, and that uh, that try will get them a light. Here we go. Matt Hay, that, that try's been scored with 12 men. Here's the a big Whitby. Oh, oh Whitby! shit! The Merrill Mountain came forward, and Josh, Josh Miles lined him up. Big time. Both boys are up. Indeed, Miles went straight back to the wing. That was a car crash. <laughs> Whitby Fair got Lincoln. up. Oh, that's the Credit biggest hit I've seen for years. Yeah, same here. <laughs> wow. Here's Baker from the uh, dummy half off uh, of Hoogs, and he still they still can't get him down. He's out to the 30. How big a hit was that? Oh. <laughs> Miles <laughs> lined him up from Miles lined him up from Glenbourne Dam. The kick's gone down. Frenchy's got the oh, ball no. and he's put it downtown over the halfway line. And James Olds from Dem and the fullback has caught it 41 metres out from his own line. The ball goes from dummy half out to Davui and he stands in the tackle. He goes sideways. He still hasn't gone, got to the halfway. Good tackle there by uh, number 12, Matty Hay, who is now back onto the field. And he wants to, uh, he's going to he really cause some damage. Gets it onto Olds who unloads in traffic across the oh. field. Oh, who was that? Was that the Merry War Mountain Whitby? Make, he, it he, was. He pulled that in from slips, I can tell you that right that now. That was a beautiful take. Mate, I just got to go back to that hit off the kickoff. That was like, you know, you see those things <laughs> blast out at your screen I when do. you're not expecting it. You go <laughs> jump back in your seat. That was ridiculous. Wow. Whitby was absolutely at full speed. And Miles, fair dinkum, Josh Miles, the Dem and uh, Captain oh, what's going Cage. On now? Josh Miles, the Dem and Captain Coach, uh, oh. lined him up. He came running from... He came running from Glenbourne, damn. It was off his foot, then he's knocked on. Okay, so he's calling an Aberdeen scrum feed here at the moment. The ball was passed back, it was on the ground. Two, the Aberdeen guy just let it hit his foot and go back into nearly one of his players who stood there. Demon's gone to dive on it and spill the beans on the halfway line. Basically where you kick off. So it's going to be Aberdeen with the scrum feed. Yep, right on the halfway line. So uh, 24 reset. 16 to Demon. A reset to uh, Aberdeen. And I see Jaden. Holy shit, that, oh, that's just <laughs> the biggest hit ever. Just quickly, Jaden Kennedy, it looks, he, doesn't, he looks a bit doughy with his leg uh, there. He's packing down to the uh, back of the scrum. But he's going to go off and uh, the big fella is going to come back on. And that's uh, Elliot Whitaker. Here's the Aberdeen boys. He gets a ball out to number three, Joshua Halliwell. And Halliwell goes oh. across field from the scrum. He's over halfway. Ball goes on to Matthew Jones. And Jones uh, goes straight into Tomas and he belts him and tackles him on the four. 40-metre line. This bloke of Baker, fair income. He's a man mountain, and he takes three or four players to get him down. And he's still looking to unload in traffic. And that's him there. He's hit the 30-metre line right in uh, centre field. Ball goes on to uh, Frenchy. Frenchy goes across field. Mm. He shows it two ways, and he stands, and he, but he is put Showed down. too much. Uh, Harvey tackled him there. He's 13, Richard Graham. And Richard Graham's going uh, straight towards the post. He's about five <laughs> metres out. Now. And what's he done there? Uh, he's, he's crowded the... Crowded it's the an Aberdeen penalty. Uh, they're 10 metres out, directly in front of the post. Here's another reset. Ball goes on to Baker. He charges towards the line. Another try <laughs> here will be very, very interesting. About a metre out. The Aberdeen Tigers. Hoogerworth at dummy half. What's he got planned there, Hoogs? Long pass. No, he goes himself. He tries to put it down. He does. He gets over the top of the Demon defence there at Marker. Went for dummy half. Sure, Very sure. hard. He's too smart from dummy half, Hoogs. I told you this game was well and truly over. Not, all chapters hadn't been written yet, but if someone can please at home or listening, get me the name of number 19. We have been given the wrong number, the wrong name for the number. Back to that hit. <laughs> He's I'm going to be talking about it talking all year. About it. <laughs> I mean, Josh Miles is a halfback, and it looked really good. John Whitby got back up, but that, he's pretty much gave himself the nickname of the Undertaker, Josh Miles. That was that put him in a grave. Ridiculous hit. That was, oh, 
I tell you what, Reg. I tell you what. This oh. combination this year. This combination this year. Now, I know they're still behind, and this this kick will go over. Josh Emery won't miss this. There's 23 minutes to go. This will take it to 24 to 22. But they've just but brought this, off that man. But the combination here between Matt Hay, Hoogerworth, Whitby, and Big uh, UT Baker. This is going to be really something to see throughout the season. Really impressive. These uh, these four guys. Yeah, look, the last time they took Baker off and, in the first half, not, that's when not, they got those two tries. And I'm not, and I'm not count, I'm not having even mentioned Lawson and those. Oh, oh he's I, missed it. How did he? Is miss that that? Is that the biggest mock? I've, I've just mocked look, Josh Emery. He's absolutely sprayed it. That was five meters to the left of the upright, only ten meters out. That's a ridiculous miss. I hope it doesn't cost them. 24, 24 points to ten. Twenty three minutes to go. That that just. Uh, confirms once and for all that I am the absolute mock. I, I don't know how he's missed that. But Hayden Fox, what I'm saying is there is someone <laughs> that has communication with the club that can find out who that number 19 is. I don't know. I haven't got a clue. It'll anyway, be pretty obvious once in a minute. Oh, Here's here Fraser go. Evans. Goes towards the line. Oh. Hit there well by uh, Nathan Darby and about three others there. Oh, he gets challenge. out to the 20. One of them was uh, Jaden Brown, but he's forced the penalty, Fraser. And again, this 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 was uh, Denman's biggest curse last year, Reggie. Given this those piggyback penalties out of, the, uh, out of the opposition's half and it allows them to get onto a roll and... Right now, 24 points to 20 with 22 he minutes to Fraser go. Fraser Evans again. At the halfway line, gets it. Oh. Goes into Josh Miles and he rakes the ball out. There's another penalty. There was two guys, three guys in the tackle. So jo Josh Miles is no, no, deliberately... Right. What did Josh right. Miles think? Did he think the referee's he eyes were painted on? He deliberately mil uh, raked the ball, oh, but then mate. he laid down like he'd been knocked out. Well, it was ridiculous. Ridiculous. But Why did he... I mean, seriously. That's just piggybacked him 80 metres, essentially. Ridiculous. He, he'll kick out for touch. This is their biggest the curse easiest. last year. I said it before. The biggest option last year was their discipline. Yep. Now Frenchy's going to get the tap restart. 15 metres out. Meter. Ball goes to Hoogerworth. Hoogerworth on to Matt Hay, and he's full of running because he's got something to prove here. He has been uh, sensational in the first Quick half. Play the ball. from dummy half. Gets it on to Whitby. Whitby goes over! Down the try time. They're going to hit the lead here. The Denman boys are remonstrating with the referee. I've got to check. Let me touch his voice. Just calm down. Daniel Chapman's on that far side. The he hasn't Denman, seen that. The Denman boys are saying he he lost that ball in the tackle. I don't know how Daniel on. Chapman... No, he couldn't have seen it from he over He couldn't there. have seen it from that far away. Let's listen in. No. Turn his back. No, He's going to call a knock on here. Oh, no. He's lost it just short of the line. Oh, no. Oh, no. no. <laughs> so we're going to go out here for a scrum, Demon's feet. Demon, wow. very, very that was lucky hard done, indeed. I don't know wow. how Daniel Chapman could see that from over there, but mate, full credit to him, he's made the, the he's made in a call. Spot. He's, he's made a call. I oh, know, but... It, <laughs> There's yeah. someone down in the back play there, Reggie. This but, game won't go ahead at the moment. Someone is down. Five metres to the right-hand side of an upright in the darkest conditions. That's the darkest part of the field. And a touch judge... No, I'm not... This is no... This, credit but he could have Sounds said like sir sir i didn't see it you don't have to make the but call but he didn't say that he obviously if he's he's obviously seen it but you don't that's have why to, he told him i'm going to gather that but what i'm saying is sometimes that pressure is on the young ones and on the touch judges well, and they've got to say something it's it's just as easy to to be honest and say well, how do you know he was? He's probably, well, probably could. Yeah. Well, he was. He must, okay. he, he's called it. He was being honest. He's called Mate, it. And all he said that traffic. He go lost back and the watch ball that. before go back the and watch that. line. Go back and watch it. Well, There's I couldn't see it from here. It looked like a fair try from here. But, yeah. uh, it, but I'm just saying the decision is always, they have to say something instead of just saying, look, I haven't seen it. I haven't not, seen it. Well, I'm not saying he has. It's not that clear cut all the time. Mate, to the referee's credit, he yeah. said, I'm checking with my touchy yeah. before I award it. Because Demon were right up. Look, oh, immediately, Jesus. immediately, Demon were up straight away into the referee's face. Who, yeah, but who was the closest person when that went down? Well, the referee, obviously. Okay. But five I'm just away. saying, there was about four or five Demon blokes that w were into it, into him straight away. So that means he called time out just because someone... No, because he may not have seen it. The no. referee may not have seen it. And that's why the Demon boys got up straight away, uh, oh, uh, remonstrating with him. And, and that's when he said, oh, I'm going to check with me touchy. Yeah, no, look, I'm not saying, I'm just going to the point that we've always got to have interference at every occasion. Mate, I'd be honest and say, mate, you were closer. <laughs> yeah, but but you, you're forgetting one very important thing. Daniel Chapman saw it because what? he's told the referee he lost the ball prior but, to the try line. 
So that's what I'm saying to you, Manko. I'm not taking yeah, away... You're, saying, you're, tell, you're telling me that Daniel Chapman should have said, you're closer than me. Well, you're closer <laughs> than me, but there was 50 people there. Yeah, but Daniel Chapman obviously seen him drop you're the right ball on. before the try line. Okay. Otherwise, he probably would have we'll said... go back to the video I've got on it. no idea. We'll zoom in. No chance. You won't see that. Tick. <laughs> He's a, a demon light ball. That's been good. That's a, been a good debate. I'm not they're saying gonna, that he, if gonna, he's seen it, he's seen it. Fair call. But, but there's too much pressure Richie, on him to make a decision. The bottom line is they didn't score. He ruled that he dropped it before the line. Now, I didn't see a drop ball. I didn't either. That's I thought it was a fair try. But I, my eyes, I can't see from this far. That's five metres away. I can't see. Mate, I agree with you on that, on that point. He's demon with the ball. They're uh, getting out of their own red zone, and they're up to the uh, 35 metres line or from from their own line, I should say, about 20 metres in from touch. And Nick now Harvey, dropped it. Harvey's dropped the ball just shy of halfway, and that is a real bad turnover there. Someone from Aberdeen is down. If, Dan, if Daniel Chapman, I owe him an apology. I owe him an apology. But all I'm saying is this, these young kids get so much pressure by people yelling at them on the sidelines. You don't see it, don't see it. He's obviously seen it. I don't know how, that's, in all that traffic. Well, that's obvious. He obviously has seen it. 24 to 20. There's exactly 20 minutes to go in this uh, round one clash between the Tigers and the Demon Devils. Very, very close game. The Tigers in possession now. They're inside the Denman half. Ball comes out the base of the scrum onto Frenchy. Out the back. No, he doesn't. He jinks away. The defence was up in their face, especially Jaden Brown from Denman. That centre was up very tight. Here's uh, Hoogs from dummy half. Goes himself. He gets to about 25 metres out. <laughs> Ball goes out to that number 19. Ball goes to Matty Hay. He's standing in the tackle. He gets it back out of the... Uh, to that number 19. He's away. James Olds to beat. He gets to James Old. He, he tries to get... Nelly gets through him. Four, three metres out from the uh, uh, Denman line. Josh Emery at dummy half. Gets the ball. He goes himself. Should have given it, perhaps. Fraser Evans, his first receiver there. A metre out. One Less than a metre out, Reg. One of your uh, favourite referees and a favourite commentator. Two different people just said, Benko without a clue. That's nothing new. <laughs> Shut up, Matty Edwards. No, it wasn't him. <laughs> Nevertheless, Aberdeen have got the ball 10 metres out. 15 in from touch from the Demon line. It's the last tackle. Emery, long ball out there to uh, Drew Gilbert. On to uh, Frenchy. Oh, numbers. Frenchy with the, the ball. Oh, that's a Goes good Goes out to the sideline over there into the corner. Uh, Devui gets the ball. He gets it up uh, and he plays it again, the uh, Aberdeen boy. Oh, boys, change over. It's change a last up, tackle. Boys. It's a changeover. We've heard that. Change Who's having a crack at me, Reed? Seriously? Harrison <laughs> Ty. <laughs> right, wait till I see you, Harry. <laughs> you pelican. And, and might be a fox. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, he's Demon. They're about 15, 20 metres out, I should say, from their own line. James Olds go from dummy half. They cannot fall asleep here. There's 18 minutes to go. They're only four points in front. And Aberdeen, they're just sniffing around, trying to force this error. Elliot Whitaker is back on the field. He's coughed it up. They've forced oh, the error, as I just said. Seriously, they, they looked a little bit casual there to me, the Demon Devils. Just going through the motions, there was no real intent or purpose in their running. And now they're going to be straight back under the pump. The Aberdeen Tigers are going to get the ball, a scrum food, 40 metres out, 20 metres in from touch from the uh, Denman line. Why didn't he ask Worthy if he saw it? His Worthy was further from you're, Daniel Chapman. You've got to let it go, mate. He was 10 metres back this way, though, looking it towards go. it. Let it go. <laughs> Scrum feed out the base of the scrum to Emery. On to uh, Cameron oh, French. Cameron French, it's a, it's a planned move. Jack Faith is going to be the first one there. He just needs a bounce. Oh, oh, it's, it's gone into touch. A metre out. Jeez. That was the first tackle on the 40 metres out. And the ball went into touch. It's a turnover now. 17 minutes. Is that, that really was a, a plan move? move? That was a planned move from Frenchy to Jack Faith. And Faithy was flying down there. He's still out the side the field to play now with the cramp, Faithy. And, uh, he didn't have the speed to get there. And he certainly did it, but uh, he's down. The play will continue because he's outside the field of play. Here's uh, Demon. Rucking it out centre field now. 
They need to force another error, the uh, Tigers, and Tigers gets the ball onto uh, Nathan Darby, the big second row on number 12, and he's tackled there by, uh, uh, who's that, Cameron... F that's number uh, Richard Graham. Elliot Whitaker gets the ball. He dropped it in a similar position last time in the last set of six. He gets up to play the ball. 25, 35 metres out from his own line. Ball goes on to uh, Jordan Bull, and Jordan Bull gets tackled. Just a metre shy of halfway. Quick play the ball. Who's off the field? Nath uh, Nettie Chapman on to Dan James. Dan James gets a ball. Ball oh, goes over Vui. to Davui. They're on the money. Gets a ball away on to, uh, I think that's Jaden Brown, the centre, but he's calling forward, has he? Yes, yeah. he has. Didn't look forward from here, and we're so Devui, right in line, Rich. Davui put that left hand out like a basketball pass to get around the play to hook it backwards, and that's he called it forward. Dan James is on number 14, Reggie, and Nettie Chapman is off the field. Yeah, Dan James can open up He's a very game quick. as well. He's 20 minutes, very quick, or 15 James. minutes, 40, 24 points to 20. Demon currently leading the Aberdeen Tigers. Yeah. Would have been locked up not so long ago. Well, they need they need to finish. Yeah, so, so what Frenchy's doing is that James Old is packing into the scrum at mm. lock. So there's no fullback. Say so just kick it. No, well, you no, don't. I'm just saying that's why Frenchy saw that last last set of six when the, when they had that ball. Here's the Halliwell boys down there tackle about his his brother. That's, that's uh, a good run. That's young Benjamin who's taken that ball. It's just shy of his own 40, 20 in from touch. And there's number 19. He gets uh, coating it straight to the, the ground by Elliot Whitaker. Ball comes out to the left. Fraser Evans, I think, was Fraser looking to kick that ball? He stands in the tackle. He's tackled five shy of halfway. Someone's down from Demon. That's Josh Miles. His leg is under Fraser, trying to get up and play the ball quickly. Hoogs from the short side. On to Frenchy. Frenchy jinx off one, jinx off the other, but he's tackled there and uh, tries to unload it, but the ball goes forward. And they're inside the uh, the 40 metres, 30, about 32 metres out Aberdeen before Frenchy unloaded it to Hoogs, who was trying to support, but a ball just, yeah, no discipline there trying to hang on. Why don't they just hang on to the ball? Well, why did they do that kick with 17 minutes to I go? I can't answer Why that. did we have to push that on the third tackle then? It's getting, handing the ball over. It's... it's at 14 minutes, that's a long time, especially this is like a game of chess. Absolutely. The Man Mountain's off, the Merriwell Mountain, Whitby and Baker are off, as is number two, Jack Faith. So Faith is off and he, he, uh, Josh Tickle is on the field this time, number 16. So Demon with the ball. Oh, push a chub in marker and play the ball there. Yeah? James Old and uh, young uh, Josh Halliwell in little melee there, but he comes again. They're shy of, uh, just shy of five of halfway there. And that was Jacob Sukunavulo. Real sloppy play the ball there. Uh, Davui goes himself from dummy half and he gets up over halfway. 45 out from the Aberdeen line. 10 in from touch. Dummy half goes on to Josh Miles. Gets a ball on to... Any he, covey. He, 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 yeah, he's tackled 40 out. Ball goes out the back to... Uh, Big Batham, and Batham gets up over the 30, yeah. 28 metres away, centre field. Dan James at dummy half. They come down to this right-hand side. Josh Miles puts it in, in field. Miles. It's a bomb. He was dead set offside, but it goes down. Yeah, yeah. It, that's a good ruling. He was offside. Yeah, that was fouls. Yeah. Fouls came from the opposite the side of the ruck. It was a set move, but fouls, I reckon, it was about two metres yeah. in front of Josh Miles when he kicked it. Yep. I, was, I thought it would have been a well-timed play if they'd done it, but he was already in front of him and then took off. Yeah, here's Frenchy with the uh, kick for touch uh, on his own 10. That's just bad discipline. That's really ordinary. They just can't finish the set of six at the moment, the Demon Devils. Gets it on to uh, Hoogerworth. They know it. They take that Bruce start. Ten gets it goes on to Fraser. Fraser gets the ball, charges towards oh. number four, Jaden Brown. He tackles him right on halfway around the legs. Over the top was Miles. Here's Hoogerworth from dummy half. He goes himself, and Miles won one strip, pulled it forward. That was good, but then you But he dropped it, off. it himself, Josh Miles. So it's a Aberdeen ball. 45 metres out, double knock on. I shouldn't say a double knock-on. Miles stripped it off Hoogerworth, and then as he went to run, he dropped the ball himself. So he pulled off that massive hit on the kickoff that we keep going back to. But a few, mo few moments, a few moments of play here, he's done some really silly things. Yeah, it's it, it, yeah. Nevertheless, Aberdeen in possession now from a scrum. Goes out the back to Emery on to uh, number 16, which is Tickle, and Tickle goes in oh, field. No, and he's I haven't called. seen this in Aberdeen, mate. you got the option to repack the scrum. He said every all the Demon defence was offside at the again, scrum base. 
pulling some rules out here I haven't seen for about 30 years, Reg, but nevertheless, that's the way the game goes. So it's another penalty to the Aberdeen boys, and just discipline again is getting the Aberdeen boys downtown. I have never seen that rule, Banco, for the life of me. I haven't seen a scrum penalty for a feet across the scrum for no, no. the 80s. So breaking from the scrum early. But the one in the first half. Yeah, so this one was they broke from the scrum. You got an option to choose to repack the scrum. It's Here's the Aberdeen, Aberdeen scrum win. Goes on to uh, Benjamin Halliwell, and Halliwell first receiver from the scrum base. He gets tackled 40 metres out directly in front centre field. Hugawer from dummy half goes out the back to Gilbert and Gilbert gets a ball on to, uh, can't see that number, number out three. there, number three, which was uh, Josh Halliwell comes out wide uh, to uh, number 11 and that's Lawson uh, and those are on to uh, Josh Emery Great and Josh hands. Emery. Great hands. They're about 20 metres out, centre field. Options both left and right. Hugerworth long pass out the back to Frenchy. Frenchy gets it back inside to Matty Hay. Good tackle around the legs there by Batham. Uh, it needed to be made. 15 metres out centre field. Hugerworth, they go down that right hand side onto Drew Gilbert. Drew Gilbert throws a really ordinary pass and it goes over to no one. Matthew Jones, he didn't rule a knock on. It's the last tackle nevertheless. Aberdeen with the ball. Uh, who's that from Dummy oh, Half? Oh, that was a nothing play. Was that Josh Halliwell from uh, the from Dummy Half that went himself the centre? Wait. I think it was, Reg. There we go. They go down, down that side. blind hand side. Is that uh, James Olds? Not sure. Blind hand side. The, bl the blind hand side. That's a new one. <laughs> Very good, Reg. Picking up on every little thing <laughs> I say wrong. Well done, mate. You've been paid, mate. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in so much paid at the That's moment. That's it. That's it's James Olds. Frustrating Alt. me. That's James Olds. Dem and appealing for uh, Dem and appealing one, for uh, something in the tackle, tackle, but he gets yeah he did over the top play goes on. Here's Josh Miles takes it first receiver. He gets to his own forty centre field. They're trying a one on one strip, and that's uh, who's that? Hoogs trying to uh, oh, and he oh. gives a penalty away. Don't, didn't they need that? Sorry, that was Jordan Ball. Not Josh Miles. He, he sort of him back down dances around ball. very similar to Josh Miles. But there's a penalty. That's a Hold him back down. That is a well relieved penalty. And uh, here we go with uh, Toby Mallinson. He's going to try and kick for touch. He's going to kick against the Bruzy. He want to be very careful here, Reg. He only finds about 10 metres in that kick for touch. The tap restart now will come from uh, Davui. It'll go in field to fouls, and he's going to take the tap restart just over halfway, and he gives the ball on to 15, which is Nick Harvey. Got to hang on to that ball. He's up over the 40. Doesn't Aberdeen need a really good set of defence here? James at dummy half gets a ball. He's not quick enough to get away, and he uh, gets tackled virtually in the same spot there from dummy half. Mm. Ball goes now on to uh, Fowles, and I think that that's Fowles, and he gets stands, boots one, gets uh, getting ragdolled gets around. Ragdoll around, 25 metres out, centre field. Drew Gilbert took him down. Damn James gets the ball on to Whitaker, the big front rower. Makes great ground, but he coughs it up in the tackle again. 11 metres out from the uh, De Aberdeen line, and that they really needed a set of six or a repeat set of six, and nevertheless... Aberdeen have got the ball now. On to 14, and 14 is... Uh, uh, oh, here we go. This that's number so 19, oh. so he's dropped it. He's saying he's dropped that. Looked like a two-man strip, Rich. Uh, that and he looks in a fair bit of pain himself, like he's been twisted in that tackle. So that's a turnover to uh, Denman. So this is going to be a great opportunity for Denman to put a seal on this with 7 minutes 52 remaining, 24 points to yeah, 20 I'll in their favour. Someone's got to be patient here, Rich. Did they call time? He said, I've called time off, did he just say? No, I think he did. Well, the clock's still ticking down. Yeah. Well, someone hasn't heard him or seen him. But I haven't seen him signal it. No. Reggie, I think the key to this game in the last five minutes, they've got to get... They've got to get... Um, is Baker back on? I think Baker's just gone back on, Reg. The front row for Aberdeen, he's just gone back on. And don't they need him? There's the centre there. That's uh, Jaden yeah, Brown. Out there now, he's but tackled then... 15 metres out, 20 in from touch. Ball goes on to uh, Nathan Darby, and Nathan Darby runs into the uh, Aberdeen defence, and he's tackled five metres out, five in from touch. Dan James at dummy half. Long pass out to uh, number four, Jaden oh, Brown. Oh, great tackle up. from Matty Hay. Wow. Didn't fall for that little dummy, and he skipped inside straight into the waiting arms, and what he got belted. Here's uh, Josh oh. Moss. Cut out pass to the winger, Jacob Sukunavulu, oh, 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 but it's ruled oh, 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 four. It was forward all day. 
forward or day, the ref said. Was it? I don't, I, yeah. Unbelievable. Well, that was a let off. Two let offs there, to, but one each to both sides. Well, 24 to 20. That ref, that call, call came from the referee himself. Six, six and a half minutes, minutes to go. Because, what's his name? The captain coach, Josh Miles, just looked at Worthy and gave him a spray, and then he did the whole hand up as if to say, oh, sorry, it wasn't you. Scrum, scrum food and win. And uh, Matthew Jones has lost the ball 10 metres out from his own line, That's centre field. On. Another little half melee. Players are running in from all over the shop, but nothing. Come. Won't amount to anything. <laughs> James Olds went in there. Did you see that, Reg? James no. Olds went in there and grabbed Fraser Evans, and they had a little mock push and shove. Good mates they are. So that was yeah. a really crucial turnover Five minutes from 50 young Matty Jones. You're listening in at home, 24 points to 20, Denman we, in front. And uh, they're going to have the scrum feed 10 metres out, directly in front of the post. So oh, this, they've got to be patient That left-hand side defensive, the right-hand side, oh, there oh, we go. A, a try here will seal this for the Denman Devils. They've just got to be patient. Oh, a, a fouls, Ethan fouls with the ball. He's tackled 11 metres out. They've lost out ground. Dan James at dummy half. Ball goes out to Bull. Short pass on to oh, Batten, but he's tackle. belted. And a really good tackle there by uh, Matty Hay. He's he had a blinder. Yeah, but so is Batham, mate. He's Batham, yeah, he's equal to the task. He's Dan James from Dummy Half. He scoots over. He has got it down. Just wait, just wait, just wait. Wait there. Yeah, yeah, I've got double movement. He's double movement? Wow. He's got double well, movement. He, well, if he saw that one, how didn't he see the other one down the other end of the field? Fuck I can't wrong. believe that, Reggie. He must have, he's saying he lifted his elbow and he's back chatted. And, and yeah, now he's gone out 10 metres. So, yeah, wait, wait, we're going to have the argument behind, now, mate. Behind, behind. Same spot as down the other end of the field. Forward. Aberdeen could be 26. Well, I'm not saying anything, Reg, because I didn't well. see, I wasn't close enough to see the double <laughs> movement there either. But the referee was close enough to see a double movement. Nevertheless, tap restart. Goes to French, on to Baker. That man has been an absolute terrorising the uh, Demon defence. Ball goes to Hugerworth from dummy half and he's picked up and belted there. He's lost the ball back. It's play on. Ball goes on to number 19 where we still don't know the hell, who the hell that is. Aberdeen, just shy, five metres shy, centre field from halfway. Ball goes on to Frenchy. Frenchy skips across oh, field. Knocked down, and, uh, six to go. Yeah, six to go. And, and it was knocked down no by Josh Mould. They've lost 15 metres, nevertheless. But there's no advantage, so he's going to have a. First, there's no advantage. He's going to have the scrum. The knock on first. So they're five Three minutes. minutes it's Forty-six be... on the clock. If you're listening it's in at gonna, home, it's going to be an Aberdeen food scrum food. Five metres shy of halfway. Twenty metres in from this grandstand side at Aberdeen McKinnon okay, Oval. Okay. Here we go. We're going to call it. We're going to call this. They'll get away with this. Here's Josh Emery at the base of scrum. Gets it out to Drew Gilbert onto Halliwell. Halliwell gets it, goes across field. And He'll he's get just away shy. With it. Just, I reckon Aberdeen will score here on the bill. Here's the ball, goes out to uh, Baker. Baker, while Baker's on the field, mate, they're dangerous. He gets up over halfway, th leaves three men in his wake. Ball goes to Hugo from dummy half, onto Frenchy. He's dangerous, he's looking everywhere. On to Matty Hay, and Matty Hay gets to the 40. Ten in from touch. I think that's the third. Hugerworth at dummy half on to Fraser Evans and Fraser Evans goes charging in field and he's great mate. Fantastic ground, just shy. 30 metres out, centre field. Hugerworth at dummy half. The ball's going to go out wide to Josh Emery. Josh Emery comes off his right foot, charges forward again, centre field. About 20 metres out from the Denman line. It's the last tackle. What are they going to do? Here's the ball. Goes through Drew Gilbert. Little chip over the top. Davui gets the ball. Is that Sukunavulu? That's Davui, I think, Reggie. Either either it is. It's Davui. He picks the ball up, cleans it up. Well done. James Olds gets the ball. He goes out from dummy half. They Two need possession 30. here. They cannot turn it over here with some st cheap stuff. He's uh, taken all day to get off him, um, Matthew Jones. I think that Straight was. Straight back into the markers. That was a silly nothing play there from Denman. Still rucking Ooh. it out from their own line. Just they look real half ordinary. This, look, this has got mistake all over it, this Denman set right now. That one goes there, little chip over the top. Oh, he's tripped in play. He's going to go. Gonna he's penalise him. That's yes. Be sent off. Who was that? Was that Ethan Fowles? It was. He chipped over the and top and he was Hoops. tripped. I think. He's saying, he's saying he moved. 
he'd moved direction and stopped Ethan Fowles from going, committing the ball. Is that a professional foul? Well, no, no, he, he, I, he stuck his leg out. That's what um, well, I thought he did. He's peeling for there, but now it's one minute thirty-eight. Denman Whittick is going off for the front row, and Tomasi's on for Denman, and uh, that thing. is a huge kick from uh, uh, Toby Mallinson. And they're going to get the ball on the clock. And we're the, twenty metres out from the De Aberdeen try line. His fouls with the tap restart. Ball goes on to uh, number fifteen, and that is Nick Harvey. And Nick Harvey goes back into the uh, blind side. No what? ground made. Taken all day to get up and play it. Seriously, just play it. Dan James at dummy half. On to uh, Jordan Bull, the, the lock forward. He goes forward and he's tackled 10 metres out. 10 metres to the left of the upright. Dan James with the ball. Gets short pass on to Batham. And Batham runs into Baker. And Baker manhandles him and skull drags him <laughs> to the ground. Three metres out, directly under the post. Dan seconds. James at dummy half. 50 seconds to go. Miles with the ball. Out the back onto James Isles. Little chip into the end. Goal! He's going to score! I That's think he got try. it down! That's a try. He's got it down, Anthony Worth has ruled a try! A try. That is a fantastic try. He's got it in centimetres from the sideline in the in goal area Reg, he has scored a try. That that was a fantastic try. What a try. Heartbreaking for the Aberdeen Tigers supporters. 20 seconds remaining on the clock. It was a try. It was a fair De try. Yes, definitely Ed's grounded it. So it. It was only a centimetre or two, but Worthy was right there. And uh, what, a what a gamble. Game. What, a, what a gamble on the last tackle. What an entertaining game of football. There was a few moments there, but... I think Aberdeen discipline just need to go back. I mean, that chip over the top with 17 minutes remaining, straight off the scrum. Or the siren's going to go. That's full time. That's full time here, and he'll have a kick for goal to make it 30. But at the moment, it's 28 points to 20. Demon have secured the two points in the opening round of uh, Group 21, Ben Gala. Lane McKinnon's number 19. Thanks for that, Pete Fitzsimmons. Well, he's number one on your sheet here. That's what took us all. Well, I don't write the um, my league apps, Ben Gala. Well, I'll... I'll I'll go forward to say we apologise yes, to Lane McKinnon. Lane McKinnon yeah. We didn't have a big game. We apologise. He has had a damn big game. Well done, Lane McKinnon. He's been number 19. It's only taken 79 minutes to find <laughs> that out. James Olds, 20. Right on the sideline, right in front of us. And the 20. crowd's moved down close to give him a, some stick right on the fence. And we'll try and convert it. What do you reckon? Yes or no? no I reckon he will. 28 points to tw 20. They're going to win this game regardless. This will only take it to 30 to 20. It's been a very good game. Lines oh, it up. No. Just pulled it slightly. There's full time. The ball boys were even giving him stick. That's why I was looking at it. <laughs> the ball boys are within five metres of him and yelling at him as he ran in to kick it. Yeah. No, that was look, that was an entertaining game of football, Bank. I will say that. I thought There's it was a, a great couple of game. Things that First I... game of the season, Reg. You can't oh. complain about that. The, the, the impacts, though, from both sides. Thomas C. Um, you know, you've got to look at the, the likes of... Um, the big fella up front, Baker, I for thought, Aberdeen. I thought, the, I thought the front rows from both sides had really good games. You and Batten, Yeah, game. Derby. Yeah, Derby. Derby, Hoogs. Well. Hoogs was outstanding. And, and, and Matty Hay. Matty Hay had a great game there. And uh, Look, I thought I thought all the players, they, they went really well. So congratulations. Round Very one. Gilbert had a great game. Round one, well done to all the boys. Um, 28 points to 20. Big thank you to Chick Taylor, Reggie. Yeah, Trying conditions up you. here today. Uh, and uh, for the time being, we'll be at Scone tomorrow for the Thoroughbreds v Singleton. That's a live audio live cross. On. Well done. So, big bet. Thanks for that, uh, Benko. Well, who do you give it to? Who do you give your points to there? Oh, look, in a Three, two, or one. In a losing side, I'm looking, I'm, looking at, I'm looking at who perhaps made an impact every time they had the ball. And, mm. and the big fella, UT, da, UT um, Baker. Uh, Baker, he was outstanding, the Aberdeen front row. But, you know... The likes of uh, the likes of uh, Nathan Darby, I thought he went exceptionally well. <sighs> Goodness me, James Old again, Matty Hay outstanding, and Hoogs was outstanding as well. Mm. Let's can we can I say Baker? I'm going to give me three points to Baker at the front row for Aberdeen. I thought every right. time he had the ball, he had an impact on the game, Reg. Oh well, yeah. Look, I'm just I, I bet you people at home cannot wait to see this collision off the kickoff, and that put that sets down. That like was the, incredible. The kickoff challenge. You can pull off the biggest. I, hit. I saw it coming, and I even oh. tensed up, Reg. I didn't. Seriously. I didn't see it coming. I seen like Josh Miles, and he's lined him up. He's come from Glenbourne Dam to hit the Merriwell Mountain, uh, Whitby. Josh Whitby. People send you that. 
Johnny Whitby. Social media where you're watching it and you're thinking and the spider jumps out at you. That was the, yeah. <laughs> I saw it coming yeah. and I thought, oh, no, this is... Going to be dangerous. Uh, but anyway, anyway mate, great stuff. Great stuff. And uh, until tomorrow, that's it for the Bengala Group 21 game between the Aberdeen Tigers and the Demon Devils. Demon Devil running out 28 points to 20.